teachers giving the five essentials survey. Here's the link that the students are going to receive in their email. It'll take them to this page. At that point, they click on Start Here, and they can enter the ID number that I sent them in their email. They also have to choose their birth date, and then they log in and start the survey. Every once in a while, this process doesn't work for a student, and if that's the case with the student in your class, then go ahead and have them take it provisionally by clicking here. So if you click here, look at what you get. You get a new login screen, which asks for the ID number that they already have. Then the student enters first name, then last name, then birth date, then gender, then grade, then county, which is going to be Cook, and then the school name, which is going to be whatever the school name is for Marie Murphy or AW. And then they have to answer this next question about going to school and then why did they have trouble logging in. So uh, usually it's a matter of the state not recognizing their birth date, but it doesn't matter. Just put anything there and then select login. The main thing is the kids don't know that it's Cook County, and that's how you handle it when their login doesn't work for five essentials.